What's up everybody? We are less than 24 hours away from seeing the C8 Corvette Z06 in the flesh, but that doesn't stop us from getting some extra content of the Z06 thanks to Amelia Hartford. As of yesterday, we got to see the car on the dyno and we got to hear this thing making some beautiful noise. So guys, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so like I said there in the beginning, we get some extra content of the C8 Corvette Z06 today. And even though we're less than 24 hours away from the official reveal, we're all excited. I know we are because I am absolutely over the freaking moon. So I wanted to get as much of this content out to you guys as possible. And I also wanted to deliver some information that tomorrow I will be doing a live video that will start at 11.30 in the morning and will run up until the event. And the event will also be live streamed on my YouTube channel. So if you tune in and you want to talk about the car, you want to discuss some of the details, and then right afterwards we will go straight to the actual reveal video, and then we'll jump back and talk about everything that we've seen there. So guys, you can count on the live video being somewhere around an hour and a half long. It's going to be pretty long, but at the same time, you are going to be able to interact, and we're all going to be able to talk about the Z06 and how freaking awesome it is. So if you guys are interested, put it on your calendars. I will be putting up a live video reminder here very soon that will see sit there until 11.30 in the morning tomorrow, and you are all welcome to join. Now, on to the good stuff, guys. So again, Amelia Hartford has given us some awesome tidbits of the C8 Corvette Z06. For those of you who don't know, she is actually going to be involved in the reveal video a fair amount from what I can tell, and she has some new information and some new teaser videos on her Instagram that I felt like I wanted to share with you guys. The first one is the car on a dyno. So you can actually see the car on the dyno running its numbers, making some glorious noises, but unfortunately those numbers aren't shared with us, not yet at least. I think we'll have to wait until tomorrow to get any of that kind of information, but for now we get to hear this thing in its absolute glory stages. Now in this particular video you can tell that the car is actually in what they call an anechoic chamber. Basically it's something that reduces echo so they can clearly hear what this car is going to sound like and fine tune the exhaust to sound the best that it absolutely can. Now, you guys have already heard some of the C8 Corvette Z06 sound clips in the past, and it sounds really good. Of course, it is a flat plane crank, so it has that really supercar sound to it. But what they're doing here is literally fine tuning that exhaust so it will sound as great as it possibly can. And this is awesome because that tells me there's probably not going to be a need for an aftermarket exhaust on this car. Now, of course, whether or not that means anything to you as a car guy, I'm not sure because sometimes even the best sounding cars can be improved with aftermarket exhaust. But I love the the amount of attention to detail here from GM. They are literally trying to make this thing sound as great as it possibly can without having to go aftermarket, and that's fantastic. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna shut up for a second. I'm gonna let you hear this thing on that dyno in the anechoic chamber. Real quick guys, before we continue, if you could please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, let me know you're liking the content, let YouTube know you're liking it so we can break their algorithm and get this content out to as many car guys as possible, I would greatly appreciate it. If you could also subscribe while you're there, that helps the channel and it also will make sure you do not miss any future content like this. So after watching the video, there's a couple things I noticed right off the bat. Number one, there is a camera sitting right beside the car filming inside, likely filming the dashboard. Now I think this is actually where they got the clip of the car revving all the way up into third gear, all the way to the red line in the latest teaser trailer. Now that's interesting because if you guys remember the previous video when I kind of dove deep into the details of that teaser trailer, I was talking about number one, the fuel economy not looking the greatest, and number two, the temperature being kind of high. And something tells me this is that car. So right off the bat, both of those concerns are kind of eliminated because number one, the car's not getting anywhere near as much air as it actually would if it was driving. Yes, there is a fan in the front 
front most likely and there's definitely tubes in the side to keep the engine cool but it's not as much as what it would be on the actual street so temperature is not really an issue anymore and number two that 150 miles until empty on the gas tank yeah we understand why that's the case now these guys were literally just revving this thing all the way to the red line to get a freaking video clip so both of those concerns are probably eliminated at this point but i really like the attention to detail here once again they have fresh air being piped into the side intakes to make sure that the car is able to run at least somewhere within the thermal boundaries and number two they have a microphone set up right at that exhaust so you can clearly hear how freaking awesome this flat plane crank is going to sound next thing i noticed was they were purposely not hammering that exhaust so they were not necessarily looking for top end numbers what they were really trying to do is hear how this thing sounds throughout the entire rpm range you can tell it starts low and it gradually increases all the way up to red line and then he lets off at which point we see some flames shoot out the exhaust which of course is just another fantastic detail but this was not a top speed or a top horsepower run this was specifically to tune the sound of that exhaust and i love it now the next video is again thanks to amelia hartford she actually has a video of her sitting outside of the car while it's being revved now the first thing you're going to notice here is the first car we looked at in the anechoic chamber was the z06 the second car here is the z07 package z06 the thing just looks so much more wild from the rear end and it sounds absolutely insane i don't know if there's going to be a difference in the the exhaust from the base z06 to the z07 but it kind of sounds like there might be so i'm going to go ahead and play this one for you guys as well because this thing sounds absolutely phenomenal so here it is Hit it! <laughs> All right, guys, so again, this thing is just absolutely phenomenal. And in her comment section, she actually says, you heard it here first. Chevrolet, let me give you an early exclusive on hearing what the all new Z06 sounds like revving to redline. So yeah, guys, that thing is literally revving all the way to 8,500 RPM and then dropping and revving again and dropping. It's absolutely insane what this thing sounds like. And this is stock. Now, what I noticed in this video right off the bat is obviously that gigantic spoiler on the Z07 package car that looks really, really great. Now, when this spoiler first came out, I was a little iffy on the look of it, but the more I see it, the more I like the design because you could tell from the rear end now that that is a relatively thick spoiler. So it's not real thin. It's, it's really there for aerodynamic purposes and it's going to help make sure the rear end of that car stays planted. But at the same time, the look of it in general is growing on me because you could tell it now has some sort of end caps on it whereas before it didn't really look like it had anything like that it's very fitting of the more squared off rear end of the z07 package car i love it now the only thing i really noticed greatly in this video is the fact that while she is sitting there holding her ears because this thing is so loud you can almost not hear her until the exhaust backs down a little bit that tells me this thing is freaking loud now that is awesome because no everybody out there that has a corvette they want it to be as loud as possible and now it looks like it's going to come that way from the factory absolutely amazing stuff guys i am so freaking excited for this car it's not even funny and we are less than 24 hours away from the reveal like i said make sure to tune in to my channel at 11 30 a.m tomorrow where we'll be talking about the car talking about what you can expect and then we're going to go right into the actual reveal video and then afterwards come right back and talk more about this car because if you guys are like me you can't get enough and i love it i want to share all this stuff with you guys i want to talk about it as much as possible that's what tomorrow is going to be all about but anyway guys that is going to do it for today's video i just wanted to give you these quick little clips and let you see what is happening behind the scenes so to speak with this thing because it is going to be amazing and every little bit that i see is just confirming that so if you guys liked what you saw please smash that thumbs up button let me know you're liking the content let youtube know you're liking it so we can continue to create this for you and as many people can see it as possible if you guys haven't subscribed yet please do i'm gonna have loads of c8 corvette information like this coming that you are not going to want to miss and as always guys i will catch you in the next upload